Hello, Longboarding Mom. Today, we are going to make those cinnamon sugared almonds. Um, the savory, spicy, smoked almonds were delicious. My husband really liked how well done they were. I, not so much. I did help eat them, though, because they were good. But I, next time when I make them, I will take some out ahead of time just for myself and then He's like, do those exactly the same, except for more salt and less of the spice. Um, he said, I didn't mind it, but like I said, it kind of burned on there, so I don't want that. So we're going to um, do them a little saltier and stuff. Uh, so I went yesterday to Winco, and I got a whole bunch of almonds so I can do my nuts and um, cinnamon sugared and, and stuff like that. I want you guys all, though, for my cookbook video giveaway. Um, I'm not going to do it tomorrow like I had planned because I have to have you guys comment below on my last video I made. So go to my last video. Um, I'll link it below in the comments. Um, I'll pin it and link it below. Um, go and comment below whether or not you like cinnamon sugared nuts or savory, no, cinnamon sugared almonds. I got have to have that almond cinnamon sugar almonds in there or savory almonds and if you want to be entered in that um cookbook giveaway i'm going to do the video next tuesday live at 10 o'clock you guys do not have to be present i will um uh post in the comments after the video who won and you guys um and, and where to contact me so i can send out that cookbook but we are going to get started on at least cinnamon sugared almonds. Um, I've got all my sugar ready. I've got my cinnamon, my cloves, my nutmeg, and one egg. But we need to separate this into egg whites. So I'll show you guys how I do that. And um, my oven is already preheated to 300 degrees. Remember how I said in the last video, 350 doesn't sound right. Well, that's what they wanted me to cook those nuts at. So, um, bake them. Um, so my cookbook here says 300 degrees at a half an hour. So we will cook these. I don't want to burn the sugar. So we'll keep an eye on them. Um, but when I do the next nuts, I will, I will do them at 300 degrees. And like I said, cook them as longer, longer for my husband, a little less for me. But anyway, let's get started. I only need my egg white. I've taken off my rings. I've washed my hands. Um, so what I'm going to do is crack this here and carefully, you don't want to break the yolk, but I'm going to separate it by using my hands. Now they have egg separators, so if this is gross and you don't like it, the sliminess and the gooiness and whatever, um, you can buy an egg separator. Uh, I don't know how much, you know, the Dollar Tree probably has one or whatever. So anyway, that's it. That's it right there. And it's got the umbilical cord. Ooh, this is what grosses me out. See that little slimy thing right there? Ugh, that's what grosses me out is that little umbilical cord. But anyway, I got that in my egg. I'm going to throw it away and wash my hands. I need to whisk this up, and it says uh, slightly whisk it. So basically, you're just breaking up that egg white. You don't want to whisk it into, uh, I don't know, just break it up. Just break it up. Make it a little bubbly. And then you are going to take two cups of those almonds and stir those in. Or whatever nut you decide to use. Two cups of almonds. I'm just going to stir those around and coat them all.
Okay, those are all coated. And in this bowl here, I've got one quarter cup of sugar. And we are going to add to that um, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Two teaspoons of cinnamon, one, two, and then I have cloves and nutmeg, and we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of each of those. So, um, these are like, these are perfect for entertaining. You can put them in a pretty little dish. Um, it's a quarter teaspoon. Pretty little dish, and, um, people think you spent hours or bought them, um, these seasonings are seasonal, right? You know, you've got your nutmeg, your clove, your cinnamon. Um, I pretty much put them in all of my breads. Everyone's like, wow, they all taste the same. Well, that's because, you know, they all have the same kind of seasonings in them. Um, clove, nutmeg, cinnamon. And we are going to just use my little thing to stir this in, mix it in, all around. That is a lot of cinnamon. A lot of cinnamon. Look at that pretty color there. And then we are going to sprinkle that all over here. Make sure our nuts are all coated. And then... um. We're going to put them on. I've got two cookie sheets back there. We're going to only do one cookie sheet. The other one's going to be for my savory nuts. Got to stop saying that. Almonds. I'm making almonds, right? So pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. We're just going to just dump the whole dang thing in there now. We are going to dump this onto my pan. It's I I always coat it with um, coat it. I always put foil on it because I don't want to ruin my cookie sheets. So when you're cooking stuff that's messy like this and stuff, you don't want to ruin your cookie sheets, right? So that egg helps all that yummy seasoning stick to your almonds. We're going to just spread this around to kind of single layer them. And you can grab a little spatula out if you want to use that. I'm just going to use these and not dirty up any more dishes. Okay. I'm going to use a spatula in a little bit anyway to flip these nuts over. Okay, we're going to put these in the oven. I'm going to check them here in um, about five minutes. And then we're going to um, pull them out, let them cool completely, and I'm going to jar my almonds up. I've got a, a food saver that has a vacuum sealer on it, so I'm going to seal these up so that I don't eat all these all in one day like I did those other almonds. So let's get these in the oven and I'll show you what they look like here in a little bit. I bake these for about 25 minutes. They've cooled for oh, about an hour or so. We are going to try a couple of these. I didn't want to burn them, so I did take them out just a little bit sooner because I didn't want that sugar, all that delicious sugar on there to burn. And in the meantime, I started some savory nuts and I changed the recipe up just a little bit. I will try to post that below in the description. But, ooh, look at these almonds. Yum. Mm. 
crunchy, mm -hmm. sugary. Mm -mm -mm. Yum. I think I'll have to eat a sweet and then a savory. And a sweet and then a savory. I think I like them both. These ones are really good, but probably not all that good for you with all that sugar on them. And just the right amount of cinnamon. I was a little worried about that. But perfect. I think they're delicious. And if you guys want to win that cookbook, go to that video below. I will link it and comment cinnamon sugar nuts or savory almonds. Sugar, sure, cinnamon sugar almonds or savory almonds. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.